of Kiwati and not Pratmuno. That is all what is with you yes. at the top of the hat. Yes. And balance is with the DIG. DG. DG. Oh, DG. Okay, DG. Yes. Uh, fine. So, uh, my experience was in life. Whatever is in your hand, is, your, is in your hand. Yes. Whatever is going to come over the shoulder, may not come at all. Yes. So, so good. But you can increase the capacity of your voice Sir. by improving the level of training, Sir. motivation, and equipment with the respective police stations. Sir. When you talk about ropes, what is the type of ropes you give them? We have pylons. And how many such ropes are in the army? Every police station, six to eight ropes are there. Six to eight ropes. Yes. So, you know, when you, since you have seen a situation yourself, yes, you actually need uh, strong ropes. You need good length. Sometimes you can't reach the man who is isolated yes. or is in a maroon. And then to get that person, uh, at that moment you can't find something by which you can tie something. Uh, and then a lot of improvisation is needed for you to take rafts, <coughs> flotation like this, empty water, so these can become a floating raft. Right? Uh, you know, jelly cans, any, any sati tubes which can uh, come in and forth. So, right, uh, very good. Uh, at the same time, we were talking about the communications. What is the police network? You have the police network? We have the police network. What about Yes, sir. Is there a disaster management network in the district? Sir, we have, yes, we get a call of disaster. Our boys who are in the PCR, we follow the plan. Now the plan says who to inform, all the numbers are there, all the, all the, all the disaster uh, management uh, agencies are there. So they will immediately communicate with them. Okay, fine. My question is slightly different. While the Mumbai, Mumbai mobile network jam, earthquake, the towers will fall. In fact, the region also many towers will get out of action because they won't work. Therefore, the mobile phone may not work. The landline may not work. Sir. The only thing which will work is your wireless. Yes, so, sir. Work with an operator also. Good. Uh, are they such? Uh, it's not that networking is so organized that you also have something with the chief medical officer or the you know, civil surgeon. Who is the senior most uh, medical lab here from the Dr. Medical? Yes, Dr. Zahar. Okay. Uh, are you also connected with some kind of a wireless system? Okay. No, the wireless system. No, 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 no. no. Not in the yeah. in the wireless. Okay, good. Yes. So, the, this is called awareness. Awareness means if, as we have said, that we have tied up transport to move people or to whatever, so where is that transport going to come? Is the police going to regulation? Would we be arranging, say, 20 trucks, 10 buses, or say, uh, 20 ambulances to that person? Usually, we, we also request the culture. Collector sir. Collector sir, where is for us? Collector sir, where is for us? We are immediately placing the order to... Okay. So, does the RQ have a list to tell that where can he get 20 ambulances? Where can he get 40 trucks? Where can he get 20 buses? No. You will requisition? Not necessarily. Or you already know where you will get them? We just have to stop them to the road wherever they are available and divert them to them. That the police can also do. <laughs> See, the position of police will stop and you can take it. There is a, there's a concern in a system in that. You have to pay for the vehicle subsequently. You have to give food and ration to the driver or provide the non driver. But I am talking for uh, a planned activity. Planned activity means that when you already have your plans and uh, when you have to mobilize something, how much time can it take for you to get 20 trucks, 20 buses, so and so. I am just, it is just, I am giving a, a sort of a long thing. Uh, include a thought. Uh, so uh, that's what. And uh, uh, what do you think is that the boys at the at the thana and the PCR boys are they trained in first aid? Sir, yes. During training, all the police are trained with the first aid. I, I don't know how many of you uh, saw a video of uh, Tamil Nadu where where an inspector of the police in uniform was attacked by somebody. He was lying on the road, there is a VIP car came, which was passing through. Okay. That man was bleeding to death. And people didn't even they not even went close to that man to help him out to stop his bleeding. And not even people giving water like this. 
Do you understand what I am saying? Yes. And why I am saying so? Besides my activity of disaster management, I am training the entire police hierarchy of the IPS in the National Police Academy, Hyderabad, one week every month. We are going into technical course, I don't know whether you heard of it. It's a new course we started last year after 26 11 in Mumbai. And this is one area which is very, very badly. Uh, training on first day to a boy, to a officers and to a man. Gun shot wound, blast injury, accident case, uh, you know, uh, building has collapsed, people are buried, you know. So that kind of first day. CPR, somebody is down, how is CPR given? How many people are sitting here now? How to give CPR? Please raise your hands. Only one man, okay, two, three. So what is CPR? Anyone? Cardiac pulmonary resolution. What is the full form of CPR? Cardiac pulmonary Cardio pulmonary heart pulmonary resolution. Mother to divide. You will be surprised. Anyone who drops, anyone who gets electric shock, somebody who gets a heart attack, if you are able to give him CPR within that 2 to 3 or 5 minutes, you might save his life. And in foreign countries, if you go for a driving lessons, if you don't know how to give CPR, you will not get a driving lessons. In India, fortunately, we don't bother on such things. These are very uh, minor things. Uh, I am from the army, 39 years I served the army. I raised the special forces of the country, the National Security Guard, Black Air Commandos. I commanded that unit for 5 years. I have been in actual fighting situations many times in my life. Operation Blue Star, Black Thunder, this, that, GIK, Northeast, uh, and the Mountain Battalion of the Land Control. A man, when he shot, and if his uh, heart is not shot through, brain is not shot through, will only die of bleeding and not because of the bullet. Of course, the bullet will cause bleeding. If you are able to stop bleeding within 15 20 minutes, you will save a man. So, these are very minor things where not only the police, every citizen of the country must build their capacity in your own house, with your neighbor, your mahalla, your community. Because who is the first person who gets affected? By a terrorist attack, by a bomb blast, by a building collapse, by the flood. Who? You and me? Aam Aadmi. Common man. Common man. So what is the way the generation is the common man? When we talk about the NDR battalions, we are sending them to various threatened areas where they are flooded every year, they go and interact with the community, and teach people how to save themselves in case of a disaster. Of course, the police will come, the fire brigade will come, army, the air force, everybody will come. But the first initial stage is it is only you as the family member, or your neighbor, immediate neighbor, or the people of the Mahatma who are living around you will come and help you. Another passenger passes by, he is a man who will come and help you. So that awareness generation is the overall this thing. So thank you very much. It's just a vote for thought. And uh, now we have the NDR. Uh, briefly, uh, just give up your capability. NDR Puram also. Equipments, uh, everyone will ask that. Uh, we have rescue boards, uh, 25 of our towers, 72 numbers, and it's very effective. And uh, next, we have four, uh, 40 HP Sigma boards, the big boards. Next. We have live wire, live wire, two zero, eight zero numbers, in very sufficient, and we keep these live wire with the engines. We have live jacket also, seventy numbers, with the engine rescue teams, we keep this. And we have floating pumps, six numbers, with the pump which we can evacuate water from that area. Next. We have team packing source with full accessories, and plug number source. In case if any emergency, the deep packing is required. We have the suit, uh, with help of the suit, we have deep divers also, and with help of the deep diving suit for the series, we can search any person who is hiding inside the blood. Yes. We have high pressure, air to pressure, two numbers, with help of it, we can just uh, fill the gas, fill the uh, breathing gas in cylinders, we have with this mesh. We have general also 78 number generators in any gaseous scenario, some of the generators, and provide electricity. We have such camera for underwater search as you if in such situations. We have such type of camera for search camera with the top of it. We can search the person inside the inside water. Next. We have so many different type of uh, ropes. Uh, 
And uh, we have, uh, as far as uh, Southwest is concerned, we have this uh, uh, plan which we have a written hospital plan for the hospital and not uh, for the district hospital. But uh, yeah, as I said, uh, this uh, as per manual which we have is a written statement, is simple, like, it's activated at the time of disasters. And, you know, introduction of this plan is that we have a small introduction regarding the alert, regarding the disaster alert code, mentioning about general principles of conduct and this synopsis of total plan. And along with that, we have distribution of responsibilities, authority and the point of place, strong, small disaster management company consisting of medical superintendent, district health uh, officer, civil surgeon, Tassatani, emergency medicine, and a matron. And this will normally control the in charge of the control group. Action plans also have been prepared for each individual uh, and for department to put in action the moment the alert is called to court. Uh, this is basically the chron chronological uh, action plan. The action plan, this is, is uh, we first initially we have is an initial alert which may be received to the casualty itself or to a telephone or to the authority like police. And on receipt of this information, the concerned person must gather the information regarding the place, time, type of emergencies, and estimate number of casualties, etc. He should have also uh, 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 been constant touch with the reporting uh, personnel. He should have been determined the time available to prepare for the emergency and necessary reorganization of hospital services to cope up with the same. The activated hospital action plan, the hospital staff activates the disaster plan. All the departments and people involved are having to readiness to attend to casualties and depending upon the nature and the number of casualties, crisis, expansion of hospital beds is undertaken, utilizing additional space uh, by discharging of minor cases or in transferring cases to other hospitals. Uh, then we have also a command uh, nucleus which is formed at the time of emergency member, uh, soon after the alert. And then here we have a plan for management of casualties. Uh, this is an X-ray actually, and uh, here uh, it is also involved uh, treatment, treatment for the patient. And usually a designated a number of designated areas will be needed to be created for the treatment. First is the reception room. The reception room is identified. We have plans for uh, resuscitation. But yes, we have to, once things come, we have to resuscitate all the. It's usually a senior anesthetist captain in charge of the resuscitation. We have to keep the operation theatres uh, uh, ready for any type of emergencies and all other departments like the audit department are also activated. Blood banks and all that uh, are, uh, are uh, activated to so set enough blood to be given whatever is required. And uh, we also consider about, you know, in the situations the workload of uh, staff will increase, so we have to consider their factors. We have the additional manpower we require for mother, for mother centers. And uh, this is, we have to also have this thing, so regarding the training of the staff, very often we give a training to transfer staff off and on when required. And this is as far as uh, uh, this uh, uh, general plan is not going to be concerned. Uh, at 20 days, this objective is necessary to create an appropriate demand structure to, uh, structure to take necessary decisions to make a reconnaissance to assess the problem and equate the trial system whereby the patient has dealt with the economy of the injuries. Uh, and this is uh, uh, at least other issues which are involved, like clinical issues, like this is very considered about the clinical triage of the mass casualties which is carried out by the doctors. We have the administrative issues. Involved like, in the form of documentation of various uh, uh, documentation for example, we have to make those cases, medical legal case papers and things like that. And we have this, uh, we, we, we have a police department which is there, we have assistance to the PRO system. We have the communication, it's kept, uh, it's kept uh, open throughout 24, uh, 24 hours in hospital. We have a uh, telephone operator on the clock. Control the friends or latest during the emergency. We have a team of top, uh, staff which will decorate source of the drug control to the help the police. Uh, we have also we have to consider in case of need of emergency manpower, we take involvement of voluntary workers. A drive for blood donations may be required at that time, also for food and things like that. And, and look after the patient's property. These are a lot of factors we normally consider. And these are other uh, factors we have to consider, the pre uh, like the press, the media, the ambulance services, emergency lights, which requires the internet, we have to make the uh, availability of this. And very important also is disposal of the dead. 
which uh, we have a mortuary which are stick to only 10, 10 12 uh, at a time, most of the time is full. This is a problem where it really needs to be aware of the takeover. And uh, this is uh, basically one part of the in, 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 uh, in shot. But we have other plans which is also meant for the auspice hospital. Will uh, as I said earlier, which is the petition actually is only meant the hospital. All the units are activated, staff, uh, and uh, these are the role for each staff, senior, senior nurse of duty. And uh, once this, uh, then we have this standing disaster team, which are always there ready, and they will be telephone numbers and contact the number they contact the they will report to the hospital. And we have this uh, picture. It's normally the standing disaster team looks after uh, of the patients. They have to do the, give the first aid, then they perform the triage, then everything of some then uh, second, we have to look after the patient the watch, may be able to be aware of something like that. And uh, these are the screening teams we have prepared for the hospital. These are screening teams when the patients are brought in, these are the doctors who will be looking after this uh, these patients. We have also a surgical team which will look after this patient, which will uh, which, uh, care, take the patient to operation theatre and do whatever is required. And this team will look after the boards to make them 